Well, howdy do, buckaroos. I have got a classic here. Uh, yeah, that smells like I remember. <laughs> Grelsh, uh, 5% um, brewed in Holland, it says still. This one says best before February 25th of 15. So uh, they obviously got a pretty long shelf life on them. So I'm buying it in July. Actually, I just picked this up yesterday, doing the video today. I haven't had this one in a long time. To be honest, I was dying to do this because, well, I had the glass. <laughs> My wife found this glass about two weeks ago, and being a beer nerd and OCD, I have to pair the beer and the glass whenever possible. So here's my gross glass that she found at a DAV, I believe. I think it was a buck, something crazy. Anyways, let's indulge, shall we? Oh, babe, yeah. Oh, wow. Mmm, <laughs> cut in action. Yeah, I've got this very cold, to be honest with you. I've got it very, very cold. And that's how I personally want a beer like this. <sighs> Many younger beer geeks slash knobs can tend to, you know, not be, not be very kind to these green bottle beers. In fact, I bought the classic flip top. As a very young drinker, I was of legal age in 86, uh, this was one of the best beers available, I shit you not. I mean, when we had the money to buy this, especially in the flip top bottle, I mean, we were shitting in high cotton, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we, anytime we didn't have to buy, you know, cases of Black Label, we could splurge for a beer like this. I mean, we were, when we, ooh, things were good, man. So, you know, if somebody brought gross to the shindig, man, they were doing all right. Of course, things are different these days, but I'm telling you how it was, baby. Anybody my age can attest to that, that this was really considered a great beer. And to be honest with you, I think it is a good beer. I mean, the problem is with beer sites like Beer Advocate and Rate Beer, is, is most of those folks rating beer don't rate the beer within the style. They'll take a beer like this, tell you what it doesn't have, or they'll tell you what they're, what they're getting, but they're not they're not comparing it within the style. Okay, if you're going to give it a C, give it a C. If you think it's worth a 75, 75, but compared to what? You know what I mean? Compared, you know, <laughs> if you're going to do that, you have to do it within the style. I don't think this beer is a 75 within the style that it is. And that's my problem with beer sites like that. They're rating beer as if it was just one big jumble. Everything is beer. So compared to this big double IPA I've just had, well, it's a 75. No, you can't do that. That's just acid nine, acid 10, acid 11. Anyway, it's back to the <laughs> that's, that's all the soapbox I'm gonna do today. If you've watched me at all, you've heard this spiel from me before. I have a, a, a nice warm day today. Not It's been unbearably hot, 90s plus, and rather humid. Today it's not quite as bad, but it is warm. It is 80 plus here. This is really the type of beer that just works well on a, on a day like today. I mean, I am a big American craft guy, and I will buy them every day of the week. I very rarely buy imports of any kind anymore. Uh, but to do this with the glass, I just felt like I had to. And to be honest, it's enjoyable. I mean, you know, it is enjoyable. Is this a double IP? No, sons of bitches, it's not supposed to be. You know, <laughs> compare to beer with the stuff. Anyways, okay, sometimes I go back to the soapbox. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you gotta love the flip top bottles, though. These were, I mean, the, we were excited as hell when we could afford to buy these back in the day. I shit you not. So uh, I poured, I don't know, this is a. 15.2 ounce bottle. I poured probably maybe a tad over half of it in here uh, to fill the glass up and I drank it in no time. Um, I thought it wasn't necessarily trying to chug it but uh, like I said it's warm it just hit the spot and it brings back some memories and sometimes that's what these beers are good for is to spark those old memories man. Ugh. And personally, I don't think there's a damn thing wrong with it. I mean, if you prefer other things or other styles, there's nothing wrong with that. But for this beer within the style that it is, it is a darn fine beer. So there you go. Gross, baby. Gross.